Hi friends, welcome back. So till now we have seen two conditions. What will happen when we'll add the finite poles? What will happen when we'll add the poles at origin? Isn't it? So let me start the session. G H S. Uh, the last time we have seen is the graph for this we have drawn. Isn't it the plot for this? And the plot was like this. Okay, it was started from omega equal to zero and it was ending at omega equal to infinity. Okay, so the point is now what will happen when you will add two poles at origin? When you will do this. For a single pole, it's shifting by minus 90 degree. Who is going to shift? The plot of this. Initially, the plot of this is. See, this is our reference, isn't it? This is my reference. This is the plot for this. The, this plot is going to shift by nine, minus 90 degree angle in clockwise direction if you are adding single pole at origin see this entire graph is coming like this okay when you add two poles at origin this entire graph only will go entirely by 180 degree so in this case now the graph will be like this the graph will be like this now instead of you have three poles then then your graph will be like this okay so kul mila ke kya ban gaya ye ban gaya Isn't it? This is for a is equal to 0, a is equal to 1, this is for a is equal to 2, a is equal to 3. Isn't it? a is equal to 0. When you have 0 pole at origin, your graph will be like this. If you have like this, you can easily understand this. Isn't it? Now, now let's come to the uh, zeros. So this is the question given. In the question, we are adding one zero. This is finite zero, isn't it? Finite zero. So according to the procedure, let's convert first into the frequency domain j omega plus one, and this is j omega cube. Okay. Let's find out magnitude. Magnitude of this is omega square plus 1 under root in denominator omega cube. Okay. And uh, let's find out phase. Phase is 10 inverse omega minus 3 times of 90 means 270 degree or 3 pi by 2 also you can write. Okay. The, the calculation part is over. Now you have to find out m0. Means at omega equal to 0, the value will be infinity. Let's find out m infinity. m infinity will be definitely 0. Now, what is phi 0? Phi 0 put omega equal to 0. This is minus 3 by by 2. Let's find out phi infinity. So it's a minus pi. Now starting direction, ending direction I can find out. Ending direction first. Phi 0 minus phi infinity. Phi 0 is minus 3 pi by 2 and minus plus pi. So definitely you will get negative. Negative means anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Now what about the starting direction? 
starting direction last time i think i showed you and maybe you people are confused so let me clear today the starting direction is always given by finite poles and zeros means you will not see the poles or zeros at origin you will see always finite zeros and poles in this question please do not see this you have to see the finite zeros or poles no finite poles you have only finite zeros so if you have zeros finite it will be anti clockwise if you have finite poles then it will be clockwise okay now now what is my point there also you do not have to look about this okay chalo aa jao idhar now we'll draw the plot start the journey of plot at omega equal to 0 okay omega equal to 0 you need two things one is magnitude and one is sorry angle that is phi uh, what is phi phi is minus 270 degree So infinity, you have to go to infinity and minus two seven. Where is minus two seventy degree? Here is minus two seventy degree. So he, here you are. Um, now now you can go to this side or this side. How you will decide? By starting direction. Starting direction should be anti-clockwise. Means you cannot go this side. This will become clockwise. You will go this side. So this will be anti-clockwise. See, see if I'm going like this. This is anti-clockwise or not? Anti-clock. Isn't it? Okay, and uh, uh, starting direction anti-clockwise is fine. Ending direction is also anti-clockwise. And ending where we are ending at omega equal to infinity. Omega equal to infinity. The magnitude is zero. And angle. What about angle? Angle is pi. So where is the minus pi? Here only. This is the line showing plus minus one eighty degree. Means you, what you will do, you will start your journey like this, and you will end at this point, parallel to this line. This is the ending direction, and you can clearly see this ending direction is anti-clockwise. This is the starting direction. and this is starting direction you can clearly see anti clock wise so this is your graph isn't it so this is the basic graph now now if you will add one more finite zero now instead of that one now you have a s plus 1 perfectly fine now you are adding finite zeros so what is going to happen this is 3 Now, for this, if you we'll draw the graph, the graph will be. Let me change the color. For this, the graph will be like this. For this question, the graph will be like this. When you will add one more zero, s plus one, s plus two. S plus three, S cube. When you will add this, now it will be like this. So, what is the conclusion? Conclusion is addition of each finite zero. Addition of each finite zero. Shift the ending angle. By plus ninety in clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction. Remember, in the poles, when we were adding the finite poles, the ending angle or ending just yes, ending angle only shifting by minus ninety degree. But here, in the case of zeros, it will be just opposite of that one. Here, you will have plus ninety degree. Okay, remember it always. So here is the question. Now this question I'll do for you. 
so directly the magnitude the magnitude of this will be this will be you know omega square plus 1 omega square under root of omega square plus 4 omega square plus 9 okay this will be magnitude now what you have to find out you have to find out m0 so m0 will be infinity find out m infinity m infinity will be 0 find out the phi your phi for this question will be 10 inverse omega for this minus because of this you are getting minus pi or minus 180 degree minus 10 inverse omega by 2 this one and the next one 10 inverse omega by 3 okay so find out phi 0 phi 0 everything will be 0 you will get minus pi phi infinity phi infinity you will get 270 degree now find out ending direction phi 0 minus this you will get positive isn't it so positive means clockwise your your ending of the plot should be clockwise ending direction indicates your direction of the ending of your plot should be clockwise now let's find out the starting direction starting direction uh, the finite poles or zeros you will see the finite zeros are near the imaginary axis the condition is what you have to see to only finite zeros or poles your zero is near to imaginary axis it means it should be anti clockwise everything is there now we'll start our journey so for the journey you have to start it at omega equal to zero you need two things m0 and phi 0 m0 is infinity chalega phi 0 is minus pi ye bhi chalega so where is minus infinity is a here is the infinity and minus pi here is the minus pi means you have to start your journey from this point okay uh, and uh, starting direction is anti clockwise so yes definitely you will you have to start your journey like this only minus 180 degree at minus pi your magnitude is infinity you are going to start your journey oh yeah so you started your journey no problem now you have to end it so where you will end it you will end it at omega equal to infinity you need m infinity m infinity is zero in this case what about phi infinity phi infinity is minus 270 degree minus 270 degree means you have to terminate at this axis over here you have to terminate means the line of the ending should be parallel with this line because this indicates minus 270 degree isn't it and the ending direction is the clockwise so your graph will be like this this is your graph this line at the ending this is the ending ending is clockwise you can see this is the starting and starting is anti clockwise you can see so this will be answer some students will do how they will do they will start your, their journey like this and they will terminate over here this is wrong this one is wrong no this is not fulfilling the conditions for this the starting direction if you observe it will be it will be clockwise but our starting direction is anti clockwise so this is invalid so this is not the true one but this one is the true one okay so this is all about today's class uh, for new updates you can subscribe to gatematic you can find us on the facebook for the doubt solving we'll meet in the next class till then take care and bye